As we head into what we hope is the tail end of winter, the trend in available rentals across the district had some brief moments of slight easing, but across the board availability is still sitting well below previous years. Some of that can be put down to the shortage in sales listing stock, so those sellers that might have sold and subsequently required rental properties before their next move has dropped back somewhat, but it can also be put down to tenants looking for warmer and drier homes as the effect of winter hits. Before July 2019, every rental property needs to have the required level of insulation installed. Given we sit on the central plateau, the level of required insulation is actually higher than the rest of the country. Although two years away, 2019 will be upon us before we know it, and the closer we get to that date, the harder it will be to get the work done, and inevitably, the price will likely rise. Tenants are becoming more and more aware of the requirements, and that pending insulation date. So the demand for a warmer home with a compliant level of insulation is certainly on the rise. Those owners who have homes with the correct insulation are simply offering a far better option to the tenant market. Good quality investment properties are still getting snapped up very quickly in the current market and there's definitely been some significant gains in rental return for property investors over the past 12 months. Rents within our own portfolio have risen 5-10% to across the board and with very low vacancy rates and interest rates at the bank remaining quite low, this is a good environment for investors to be in. Obviously the dust will need to settle after the election to see what impact a possible change in government might have on the investment market for landlords, but with demand still very high, investors are still reasonably well placed for the time being. With new residential development on the rise around our region, the housing shortage should see some easing over the next 12 months, but with house prices still at high levels, population growth forecasted to continue for the region, and that urban drift from the main centre set to continue, Tapu and Tirangi continue to be well placed for property investment. Mm -hmm.